Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install MongoDB 8.0 on Windows 10, 11 or servers. The process is same on all Windows operating systems. Go to MongoDB official website that is mongodb.com. Click on resources, then click on server documentation. Then see here we have the three options. Atlas it is cloud, enterprise it is paid one. Click on MongoDB community, click on install on Windows. If you scroll down, see the, see the supported Windows versions are server 2022, 2019 and 11. So, that, but the installation process is same on all. Okay, now scroll down, click on download center, go to downloads. See here, if you scroll down, see here we have the MongoDB 8.0.3 and select the platform as Windows package, select MSI, then click on download. Go to downloads. See, download has been started. Its size is 717 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See, download is completed. Go to downloads. See, here we have the MongoDB MSFL. Double click on it. Click on next. Select the license agreement by checking the checkbox and click on next. Select complete and this will be the service name in the services console and this is the data directory and this is the log directory. So click on next. See MongoDB compass is the GUI tool for the MongoDB. So select it and click on next. Click on install. See, installation has been completed successfully. Click on finish. See, this is Compass GUI tool. Click on start. Okay, now click on add new connection. See, this is the connection URI. Then click on save and connect. See, these are the list of the databases comes with installation of MongoDB. Now we can create the databases. Let me maximize it. Click on this plus button. Then give the database name after schools. See, until if you don't give any collection, database doesn't exist. So, I am giving student collection, then it is empty. So, click on create database. See, new database is there and this is the student collection. Until now, we have performed actions on MongoDB Compass. Let us install Mongo SH, that is Mongo Shell. Download for Windows. Search for it. Click on download Mongo, MongoDB shell, then scroll down, see here, we have the version number 2.3.2, then select the package MSI, I will keep this link in the video description, then click on download, see download has been started, go to downloads, see its a size is only 45 megabytes, once download is completed, then go to downloads, see here it is downloading. See, download is completed. Click on now. Click on this Mongo SH to install. Click on next, and this will be the location for the Mongo shell. Okay, if you want to change, you have to click on change. Then install. Don't check, select this one, install just only for you. So, I want to install for all. So, click on next, just click on install. Installation has been completed. Now, run Windows run. Then run the command mongo sh. See, default is localhost. Also, if you go to the compass, click on this connection, then click on here and click on show connection information. See, we have connected the host 27010. It's okay. Now go to mongo shell, hit enter. See, we have successfully connected to mongodb engine 8.0.2. 3 and this is the version of the Mongo SH. Click on close, close. Now verify the list of the databases. Show DBs. See, 
this is the database that we have created here okay if you want to switch to this new database that is after schools use the database name after schools put semicolon now we are in this db now we have a list of collections for collections see we have only one collection that is student you can also verify the list of collections by running the show tables okay now create a another table by going to see you can go through the document see here in CRUD operations then select insert then copy this one copy it db dot paste it put semicolon at the end and hit enter no need to give the collection just give the inventory we have created a collection by inserting a document let us verify collections again see we have one more collection let us verify data in this collection by running the command db dot give the collection name collection name here is inventory dot find in brackets give the empty curly braces close the brackets see we have this collection in the same way if you want to find the collections just to replace this collection name with student hit enter see we don't have any data let us insert the, some data db dot student dot insert one curly braces give and zero one hit enter now verify data db dot student dot find in brackets you like this it will retrieve all the documents information in mongodb see in rdbms we call tables in mongodb we call it as collection in the, in the same way we call rows in rdbms and in mongodb we call as documents okay so semicolon hit enter it is typo because see we have one collection for every document we will get the object ID. even if we insert one more row we run again see and their object id is created okay even if you go to the compass see but those are still not showing select it and click on here refresh see one more collection is added if you want to get the same mongo shell click on this mongo message then show dbs see we got the same if you want to search again here to after schools give the same show collections so if you give, see you can run with show command these many options like show users show tables smart startup warning roles profile logs etc you want to see the log give the log see this is the log okay see we have the control l to clear screen and last option is you want to stop or start restart mongodb service go to services.msc type press m see here we have the mongodb service if you want to stop right click and stop if you want to restart select restart select the service here also we have the same option stop restart here also we have the buttons like stop and restart the service Suppose if you stop the service, if you, re if you refresh this one, let me close, click on here, click on refresh. See, before we have the shell option, but here you run the show dbs, see, you are not getting output, even shell also exit. now open mongo sh that is mongo shell hit enter see we are unable to connect because mongo deep service stopped okay now start the service
exit now go to the compass see now we got the all the database information now we can click on here show dbs okay even we can able to open the sh hit enter see we are able to connect we can also get the mongo shell by going to cmd type mongo sh see we are able to connect okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install mongodb 8.0 on windows operating system for more mongodb tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you